Here are the two pieces we'll use to shape the bale. They're connected precisely and you can see where they overlap throughout their length here. At, at the bottom it gets pointed in a couple different directions. First thing we want to do is explode the components or the groups. We'll explode the second group and then do a selection of all the graphical edges and faces and then right click intersect faces with selection click there and the intersection function goes ahead and creates those edges where these two parts intersect. Now we've got some waste to remove. I'll do a right to left selection box to knock out a lot of this waste material in the front. Do the same here on the back hit the delete key and knock that out. A little bit more up here at the top. Hit the delete key. Just rotate around and see where we are. Oh, there's more waste to remove in these little arced places. We can use the eraser key. Knock out most of this waste material here. It's important to zoom in as close when you're doing this kind of work so that you don't erase things that really you don't want to erase. Sometimes I will set a focus, a a camera at 3 degrees rather than 35 degrees so that I can get in close without hitting the clipping plane. You can see when some of the mess now we're missing a lot of faces up here at the elbow again because of the intersection we've we've lost a lot of the shape and faces. To recover that material, I'm going to turn on hidden geometry and you can see some of the edges, lines have appeared that are dotted, the hidden geometry, and then you can see some of these gaps in the edges which are going to cause problems. Over here, there's another gap in the edge. Good, that closed in that face. There's a gap here. Hopefully that'll fill in. Yes, it does. Now we've got some feathers over here on the left. Knock that out with the eraser. Come back to this area and try to replace these missing faces and I get in close and take the line tool and run across the edge until I hit endpoints. SketchUp tells you when you hit endpoints, color is green, and also it puts a little flag to tell you that it's on an endpoint. So just create these lines create some triangles here to close in the face. It also shows where the midpoints are, but I'm I'm not connecting at the midpoints. I'm connecting it at the endpoints. I know it it's tedious work and I could have eliminated a lot of this problem by scaling up using the scale tool and scaling 
these graphical shapes up by a factor of say 100 that should have eliminated a lot of this uh, if not all of this problem now I'm missing an endpoint in here somewhere let me go back and find it that there it is yeah so it's a little bit of a hunt for the endpoints and and just drawing triangles to fill in the, there's another endpoint I missed well there must be another one where is it there it is green and then there must be another one there's a green okay that's closed in all of that mess I can use the erase tool with holding down the control key which which smooths out all of these edges so that you won't see them when we turn off the hidden geometry so let's go ahead and turn off the hidden geometry see how it looks yeah I I need to fix up the down there at the point on the bottom and I need to fix up the other side up here at the elbow but that's the same process that I would use to do the cleanup after an intersection although doing scaling would have helped a lot to start with 